It is now 541 on this Wednesday morning. We are halfway through the work week and like Bon Jovi said, living on a prayer. Yeah, living on a prayer. We're halfway there. Praying that we just get some good soaking rain. We don't want any storms. Yes, and we are actually on track for that, Isaac. I mean, we have a little bit of drizzle, a little bit of fog in the area this morning. These are visibility numbers. It's four miles in Sulphur Springs, a little higher there in Mount Pleasant. That's where our dense fog advisory is. But as we look at live Doppler radar, yes, we have some mist, some drizzle in the area, but only for our eastern counties from Harrison County down to Panola County as well. So we'll take you through future cast real quick. I am expecting a cold front to approach from the northwest. This is about one o'clock this afternoon. So right after lunchtime when you might be driving back into work, just a few showers to the north of I-20 and also there in Anderson County as well. But cold front starts to push in from our northwest and we do start to see perhaps a shower, maybe a thunderstorm or two trying to get going this evening. This is what the radar is going to look like at five o'clock and this is where our best chance of storms are going to be right along I-20. Cold front pushes to the south. We're dealing with some spotty rain on and off throughout your Thursday, but we do start to see a break as we go into early Friday morning, but off to the northwest, that's our next chance of rain. Temperatures right now, we are in the upper 60s for most locations. It's 67 in Sulphur Springs, 65 in Gilmer, 69 in Lindale, a degree cooler there in Tyler, 68 in Appleby and Nacogdoches, and for our deep east Texas counties, we are generally about a degree warmer. 69 is the current reading there in Lufkin. So 75 degrees today. That will be our high temperature. Best chance of storms will be arriving through the overnight hours. Probably after midnight, 35 will be our low temperature there. Now looking ahead to next week, this is our six to 10 day temperature outlook. Right now, I do expect colder weather finally to make its way back into the area and we could have several days of it. We could also have several rain chances because the Storm Prediction Center is suggesting that we will see a couple of rain chances next week with above average precipitation expected. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, showers and thunderstorms in the forecast. I think the best chance of storms on Friday will be Friday night. Of course, nothing severe. I can't emphasize that enough. But as we look at the deep East Texas extended forecast, already looking like a pretty nice weekend for us, Isaac. It is. Mm -hmm. That rain's coming to an end right yep. as the weekend is about to start. Yes, yeah, so you can get out, you can fish, you can enjoy the, the calm weather because it could get active again next week. I'm going to do it because this past weekend I was only able to fish mm -hmm. for like half an hour. Did you catch anything? No. Oh. I know. Don't even get me started on them. <laughs> they're not striking. They're not biting. Well, I mean, the thing but about But you fish. see them in the water. Yeah. Uh, you got to use different bait. I'm going to have to use different bait. Yes, definitely. 